In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an ordinary small PCB 12 volt relay and operate it directly on 230 volts AC without using a 12 volt power supply. And uh, you can do this if you don't have a relay with a 230 volt or 220 volt coil and you only have a 12 volt relay or a 24 volt relay handy. It's a nice little trick to allow you to power a low voltage coil relay directly from mains voltage using nothing more than a couple of diodes and a capacitor. That's it. Very simple little circuit. It's a cap dropper that drops the voltage for the relay down to approximately 12 volt DC. Of course you might say why not just use a, a 220 volt to 230 volt coiled um, relay. Well they're normally quite expensive um, and you might not have one handy in the first place and it's uh, of course these low voltage relays uh, they're very cheap to buy and you can salvage them out of many things as well like I tend to salvage parts I salvage capacitors of power supplies and things so from your scrap lying around in your electronics box you can easily knock something up in an emergency and I think it's actually quite a handy little circuit you got the live coming in passing through your dropping capacitor and then uh, going into your bridge rectifier which then rectifies it to DC and um, then the coil loads up the circuit and the voltage is dropped across the capacitor. Very simple. So we'll start by arranging the four diodes into a bridge rectifier. You can use a any bridge rectifier really, but I just prefer to use four diodes. And I've sort of pre-shaped already and they, they sold it in this configuration here. And um, then we solder that to the um, coil of the relay, the positive and negative of the bridge rectifier. And then we add um, the capacitor. I think in this case it's about half a microfarad. And then we add the mains connections. And that's it. That's our simple, uh, simple circuit to, to power a 12 volt relay directly from mains voltage. Um, it can be done a lot more compact, but I've just done this um, in a very simple way to demonstrate. So let's uh, let's connect some mains voltage to it. Contact, as you can hear, the relay clicks just fine. Now if we measure the voltage, it's likely not to be perfect, but these little um, relays, they have uh, quite a wide tolerance of voltages they can operate on. If you operate them on too high a voltage, they tend to heat up quickly. But for instance, this 12 volt relay can operate probably anything from 9 volts up to all the way up to about 15 volts. But we'll measure the voltage. So that's about 15 volts, which is a little bit on the high side, but it, for relays it's fine. So we can do different things. You can either change the capacitor value until you approximate the right voltage, or you can try and load up the coil with a resistor. In this case, what we'll do is we'll stick a resistor across the coil. We'll stick this resistor across the coil, and it would load up the relay coil slightly more, so it would lower the resistance of the coil. And um, then we can approximate the correct voltage. 
or you can simply put capacitors in series or parallel until you get approximately the right value by experimentation. So now that we've tacked a resistor across the coil, we can fine tune the voltage on the coil. We've got about 13 volts there, which is pretty close to 12 volts. Now we can also try and use a different value capacitor. So this is a, a different capacitor used, so I think it's a slightly lower value and we get approximately 12.3 volts. So that's pretty much spot on. This would very much depend on the um, impedance or the resistance of the coil. Um, so you'd have to choose your value capacitor for, according to the resistance or the impedance of the coil. Um, but it's a very simple way to drive a, a 12 volt relay directly on mains voltage. This is 230 volts AC coming in. And the voltage is simply dropped across this capacitor. And because the relay coil is a load, there's a volt drop that drags it down. And it's quite efficient because it's, um, it's a capacitive load. So there's no heat generated. It has a reactance instead of resistance. Now, why would one want to do this? Why, why would you want to do this? If you wanted to sense a mains voltage circuit, but you, you wanted the output to be low voltage switched, for instance, say you wanted to know if there was mains voltage present, and then um, on the other side of your relay contacts, you can connect it to a microcontroller or something that, that detects the, the mains voltage. It gives you that isolation. And it uh, means you won't have to use a one of these expensive relays. Say for instance you wanted to see if there was mains voltage present across two terminals of a power supply for instance or inside some sort of circuit but you wanted a low voltage circuit to to trigger something else then um, you could get that isolation between the two so it, you could use it as a mains detecting circuit. Um, or just a means to, to switch from a very small um, load to switch something bigger through a relay. Now this whole circuit can be made a hell of a lot smaller if you use a ready-made uh, bridge rectifier. Quite a neat little compact circuit. Here I've made up a quick example of a much uh, bigger relay, 12 volt relay as well, with a 12 volt coil, and using this uh, capacitor and a more compact version of my diode bridge rectifier. And I'll operate this on mains voltage as well, and we can see the contacts click on the inside. One thing to bear in mind, once the power is connected, this capacitor here can still hold the charge. Of course, this is the simplest version of this circuit. It's just a bridge rectifier and capacitor, essentially two components plus the relay three components. If you're worried about this little capacitor holding a charge, depending on how you would use the circuit, you can simply tack something like a one mega ohm resistor, sorry, across the capacitor terminals between there 
in there. Like in this case, it's easier to see if you were to tack. There is that way. If you tack this resistor across there, then when the power is removed, it would dissipate the charge, any charge left in this capacitor, which means you won't get a little zing off of these uh, wires. In my use case, it was never really necessary to do that. Yeah, so if you like this little circuit, it might come in handy for you one day. Um, so make sure your capacitor is rated for mains voltage. Anyway, I hope this little circuit proves useful for some of you in the future. If you don't have a 230 volt mains relay handy, you can always use a 12 volt one with just stuff you have lying around in your junk box. So thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe and like to my channel so you can see more of these videos.